how to create sitemap for WordPress websites. If you are just getting used to WordPress, one of the important things you must know are the relevant pages that every website should have. Examples of such pages are the home page, the blog page, contact us page, privacy policy page, and then having a sitemap for your website. In this video, I will show you an easy way to create sitemap for your WordPress website using a plugin that is so easy to use. Let's dive right in. Go to your plugin tab and install and activate a plugin called Simple Sitemap. Skip this process. This notification explains how you will get your sitemap set up. But never worry reading this episode because I will show you how to set up your sitemap completely in this video. There are two methods with which we can use to create our sitemap. And I will show you the both method in this video tutorial. The first method is to use the block editor and I recommend this method if you are using the default WordPress editor to build your pages. The second method is the use of shortcodes and this method is for those who are not using the default block editor. So if you want to use a page builder such as DV, Elementor and the others, this method will be good for you. So let's go ahead and create our website sitemap using the first method. To do so, go to Pages and create a new page. Name your page, I will call mine Sitemap. If you are using the default WordPress editor as I earlier said, click the plus icon here and search for Sitemap. As you can see, two options are suggested. Choose the simple sitemap if you want to create a normal sitemap of your website pages. But if you want to create a sitemap for a group of pages, an example of such a group is the category for example, then you will choose the second option. I will choose the first option here. Subscribe to this channel so you get notified when I release my next video where I explain how to use the second option. which we really don't need right now. You can see all the pages of my website displayed already. Yours will have much more pages as this is just a tutorial site with just about only 4 pages. All you need to do next is to publish this page. Let's return to our WordPress dashboard. This is our new sitemap page. Now, copy this page URL and embed it in a test on the footer section of your website. Let me quickly do that here. I will type sitemap and then hyperlink my sitemap URL. Then I will save. Let's view our sitemap link. This is the link for my own sitemap. But if you like, you can use the sitemap page as a menu page for your website. But I preferred mine to be at the footer section. Okay, so now let's create a website sitemap using the shortcode. Come to your simple sitemap tab.
copy the short code and make sure that you copy the bracket along with it. Open a new page. Title it. I'm going to use the DV Builder. Yours could be Elementor or any other. Just click your own builder and open the editor. Here I will search for code module. I will paste my short code here and save. I will publish this page, copy the URL as we have already done before and add it to my sitemap. This is how to add sitemap to your WordPress website. Remember that this sitemap is for people, I mean your website visitors and not the sitemap for Google crawler or for search engines. For more easy tips on easy ways to master WordPress, subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video. Thank you.